Hey guys, thanks for coming back for the fourth day of 25 Days of Christmas. So, jumping right into today's video, you are going to need a wooden sign, a paint brush, some paint, whatever color you prefer, whatever goes with your color scheme, some battery powered lights, not the kind that you plug into the wall, but battery powered. And you want to make sure that they are circular to kind of give that vintage -y sort of look. And I forgot to put this in the shot when I filmed it, but you're also going to need a screwdriver, but like the automatic kind. So first things first, you want to paint out the word jolly on your sign. Or if you want to put Noel or something else, you know, it's your sign, whatever your heart desires. And if you want to do it in a special sort of writing that you're not used to, I would suggest going over this first with a pencil, kind of sketching it out, and then painting your letters on. I just freehanded it because I was pretty confident and I was doing some easy lettering. But just let it dry, I would say at least overnight, so the paint doesn't chip whenever we screw some holes in there. So this step is optional if you want to do this, but I do not really have an eye for a straight line, so I busted out a ruler and kind of marked the top of each letter where I wanted the first light to go through, and I made sure that they were even together. I just made a little mark there with a mechanical pencil. And then once I got those down, I took that screwdriver, and you want to actually, when you look at the light, look at where the bulb connects, that little part there, and you are going to base the size of the screw that you use on that. Not the actual size of the bulb, but of the size of what it connects to, so the bottom part, so that the bulb sits on top of the letter and it gives that vintage effect. So this does take a long time, especially when it's time to do the screws. So what I found helpful to make that process go a little bit quicker is taking a screw two sizes smaller than the one that you will be using overall and go through with that first so you kind of create that hole and then it's a lot easier when you take the bigger screw through. But other than that, you guys, once you get all of that done, this is all that you have left here for your sign. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to come back tomorrow to see what I've got. And a good way to not miss what I have tomorrow is by hitting that red subscribe button and then hitting the little bell next to my name so it'll notify you when I upload. Thank you guys for all your support and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye-bye.